Okay, the first step is we are adding. So we need to find a common denominator, but before we can do that, the denominators have to be factored. For this problem, we are going to skip that step because there is nothing to be factored. There's no GCF, there's nothing we could do with x minus 1, and there's nothing that we can do with just the x. So now we're ready for step 2, which is to find the least common denominator. So I'm going to think about, first thing I'm going to think about is I'm going to take this x minus 1 and write it here. And remember, this x is glued to this minus 1 because of the minus sign. They're together. They can't be breaking, broke apart like we talked about in class. So if I think about this x minus 1 being distributed here, this is going to cancel with this. Now, if we look at the second fraction, we need this to go away. And these two cannot cancel. You cannot cancel this out with this because of that minus 1. We cannot do that. So we need to put an x here as well. And we could put the x in front if we would prefer instead. It doesn't matter. So this, when it's distributed over here, is going to cancel. These two are going to cancel out. So that would make our least common denominator x times x minus 1. Okay, so now the next step is to rewrite each of the fractions. So I'm going to take my common denominator, which is x times x minus 1, and I'm going to think about here, if I distribute this right here, this x minus 1 is going to cancel with this x minus 1, but what's left here is we have this x that needs to be multiplied by the 4. So I'm going to have that x that needs to be multiplied by the 4. And I'm going to bring this plus sign here, and I'm going to bring the 3 down here. Now if I think about this being distributed over here, this x is going to cancel out with this x, and what's left is the x minus 1 that needs to be multiplied by the 3. So we're going to take 3 and multiply it by x minus 1. Okay, so now we need to simplify. We're going to distribute here. 4 times x is just 4x. Combine the like terms. Okay, so now we have to see if the whole fraction can be simplified. So if we take a look at what was left in the numerator here, nothing can go into 7 and 3. 7x minus 3 cannot be factored, so therefore we cannot simplify the fraction further. This would be our final answer.